Now, there are signs that two further reactors at Japan's troubled Fukushima plant may have gone into meltdown. Similar problems were earlier confirmed at the number one reactor. Its operators are suspected of failing to properly cool them after the earthquake. Well, let's get some insight now on this from Professor Christopher Busby, who's from the European Committee on Radiation Risks. Many thanks for being with us, Professor Busby. Now, a meltdown of the reactors was considered really the worst case scenario when the Fukushima crisis started. Now it appears to be a reality. So what does it actually mean? Well, a, a meltdown means that the fuel inside the reactor has got so hot that it's melted and, and uh, there's a sort of raging uh, radioactive inferno taking place inside the reactor. We believe actually probably outside the reactor now because the reactor pressure vessel is certainly breached. And in fact, you may recall, I was, uh, right from the beginning, um, there were lots of indications that this was the case. Actually, the, although they've admitted this now, the real situation is in fact far worse because there have been nuclear explosions. We now know from the data that has come in since I was last talking with you, um, from the isotopic ra ratios of the substances which are being emitted. So we do know that it's very, very bad and radioactive particles are now appearing in the United States and, and certainly there's a lot of radioactivity appearing as far south as Tokyo. This is a very serious matter indeed. A worryingly bleak picture being painted there and uh, the operator TEPCO though has said that it's considering improving conditions at Fukushima for the emergency teams uh, but they've been risking their lives haven't they for two months now. Couldn't this have been done a lot earlier? I, I think they had been risk, certainly risking their lives for a long time, uh, but I think really they had to, you know. Um, I don't see that there was any easy way out of this, so either people risk their lives or nobody does anything and it gets a lot worse, and we have to salute the heroism of these people. Uh, as far as making conditions better for them, it's actually not very easy to do. The, 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 the events themselves will in a way make the situation better for them because the massive amounts of radiation coming out at the beginning are not coming out at the same rate. But I have to say it is still fissioning. We know that it is still fissioning. So there is an ongoing nuclear reaction taking place now. We can tell that from the isotopic ratios of the substances being emitted. So, so there is, it is still going on. It's by no means uh, over, this crisis. As is the blame game, also no, by no means uh, over. TEPCO's regularly come under fire, hasn't it, for miscalculating the severity of the situation. Do you think it's time uh, for the Japanese government to take back full control of the facility? Well, my feeling is that TEPCO never really miscalculated anything. TEPCO was just trying to cover everything up from the very beginning. And the problem is that enough people are out there now measuring things for them no longer to be able to sustain the idea that there's nothing happening there which they, which they presented from the beginning. And I think, yes, of course it's time for the Japanese government to take control, but having said that, it's very hard to know how you could take control of this situation. The situation is essentially out of control. And I, I, I believe personally that it's a global problem and not a Japanese government problem only. But of course the Japanese government are the people at the point that have to do something now. Well, on that, Japan has given itself a, a nine-month deadline to sort Fukushima out. What do you mean by that? And do you think that's a realistic timeline? Absolutely not a realistic highlight. I don't think they have the faintest idea what they're going to do there. And in fact, I find it hard to imagine anything that they can do at the moment. I, there, there, there have been plenty of suggestions, but all of them pr pretty bizarre. Uh, certainly, from the point of view of global releases of these substances, which are now appearing here in Wales and in England and in Europe, they have to do something pretty drastic to try and cover this, to cover this reactor up, to build some sort of dome and containment around it, so at least the radiation that's being released by the reactor uh, fission, fissioning uh, it doesn't get out any, uh, any longer. It, it, it is contained. OK, Professor Christopher Busby, uh, Scientific Secretary of the European Committee on Radiation Risks. Many thanks for speaking to us.